aim of the centre is to facilitate innovation in Northwest businesses, to deliver new products and services which have environmental benefits and are accessible for the global marketplace. So Lancaster University and the University of Liverpool are two major research institutions in the Northwest. Within them, they have academics who are world respected in terms of their knowledge and they're at the leading edge of their fields. They've got the resources, the global contacts. Small and medium sized enterprises are the lifeblood of the economy. They're packed with creative, interesting, uh, entrepreneurial people with ideas. But what they lack is time and resources to develop products, um, particularly products with long term research demands. This project allows small to medium sized enterprises to access the expertise, the resources and the global contacts of the two universities. Oxford Development uh, is a private owned company, been, uh, been around now for 70 years and uh, we're renowned for our uh, innovation. For me this, this project allows us to, uh, to stay at the forefront of technology and bring new technology to the, to the right places. My research is looking into the replacement of incandescent landing lights for airfields with LED systems and specifically the infrared component of these. Generally we, uh, we use commercial LED devices uh, and at the moment there's no LED device available commercially that gives us these type of properties. So in-house we don't have the available resource to spend this amount of time on this particular research project so the, you know, the assistance of the university is actually invaluable in that, that they can absolutely you know, spend the time. It's uh, not just a, a week here, week there, but this three year period I think will certainly allow us to get from where we are now to really have a chance of taking a product to market. The programme provides businesses with access to a wide range of resources for R&D and commercialisation. The R&D support comes from the Universities of Liverpool and Lancaster and currently spans 11 departments, which includes environmental science, engineering, computing science, electrical engineering, chemistry, physics, architecture and the management schools. I think there's two things that are different about the projects. The first is that the idea comes from the business in the first instance and we've then matched that to appropriate supervision at the two universities who are partners. The second aspect is that that then leads to the development of a product or a service which enables the SME to be more competitive in the global marketplace. In its basic sense, we're a distributor of metal powders for additive manufacturing processes. Um, as well as powder supply, we are involved in uh, offering consultancy work and machine servicing for laser cladding systems and SLM machines. My project is about developing new materials and process parameters for selective laser melting with the aim of reducing material use in the aerospace and automotive industries. LPW is an SME, so we don't have the resources in terms of manpower and equipment that um, facilitates the level of understanding that we'd like to have of our products. Um, the work with the university as well as other collaborative work that we're involved with uh, allows us to generate that kind of understanding, um, allows us access to equipment that we wouldn't normally have um, as well as the expertise that we don't have in-house. So these manufacturing technologies give designers freedom. Previously, designers were constrained by the manufacturing technologies that they had available to them. So, so that's why previous products all looked like they did, because they were constrained by the manufacturing process. These technologies uh, enable the designer to think freely. And in thinking freely, it allows the designer to answer some of the needs that have been uh, created by modern society. There are a number of uh, environmental benefits that we see uh, that we'll achieve through this project. The first one is related to um, the powders that we sell and their manufacturing. When they're produced they come in a, a wide range of particle sizes but the applications we supply to only use a small amount. 
um, we're looking at maximising that yield that is useful material to us and the applications that we supply to. Uh, the second one is we're increasingly looking at the um, life cycle management of the powders that we sell. So from manufacture through the use of the powders in the process, through repeated use and then finally the end of life um, solutions that could be on offer. Um, this is something that varies from alloy to alloy, from process to process and having access to the machines at the university will allow us to look into this in uh, more detail. Sadly the North West is underperforming in terms of our ability to sell uh, new products and services with environmental benefits and particularly to sell those on the export market. This project provides support to businesses to address that underperformance in low carbon technologies, uh, to deliver economic growth uh, and to deliver environmental benefits. Yeah, the project is about developing new structural composite for fencing applications from recycled materials. Eco to specialise in recycling, challenging bulky sort of waste streams and developing new products from them from what would otherwise be problematic waste. Yeah, I mean, currently Eco2, I'm mean, working at the basically the limits of our technology. There's not much more that we can do as a business to expand that. Obviously, working with the university, their experience and expertise will help the company obviously grow a lot quicker. Uh, any material that comes in is separated from the synthetic product to the wool product. Obviously, the wool product, if that went through our processes and became a finished product going into the equestrian you know, industry, then that product would fail. Obviously working with the Environment Agency for the past 14 months, we've been able to you know, gain accreditation for our finished products that are fully synthetic. So what we are looking to do maybe in the coming years is to achieve that same accreditation with the wool products. Obviously with Anne's expertise and help from the university, we're able to get the product working for our existing customers first and then market that further down the line to potential new customers. This project is about the uh, understanding of fundamental electrochemistry and its application in, in the real world. Uh, here at Nanoflex we've been developing nanoscale electrodes uh, for the last seven years and we are now at a point where we are selling electrodes commercially. Um, there is a, a key element to our work, uh, particularly at the nanoscale, which we don't understand, which we're working with uh, Miriam and Colin at uh, Lancaster University to probe into with uh, the potential for very real benefits in real world application. The project is, involves fabrication, characterization and fundamental studies of nano electrodes made of different materials and a range of sizes. The aim is to manufacture sensors and batteries using Nanoflex technology. The research that Miriam is doing will benefit Nanoflex by providing us with answers to some highly important questions regarding the performance of our electrodes, particularly at the very small scales. And this uh, will provide benefits to a, a wide range of potential end users, including those interested in environmental monitoring and monitoring at legal levels, and also in in vitro diagnostics where biomarkers are only available in very small amounts. Invention is not innovation and we recognise that businesses face significant hurdles to move a product through from concept to the marketplace. And so the third party in this collaboration is Inventure Limited. Inventure are a specialist consultancy. They work with businesses to move ideas through to access supply chains and to enable businesses to move their product into the global marketplace. At Inventio, we specialised in the commercialisation of innovation in science, technology, engineering, and particularly we support businesses in the market research for accessing new opportunities. So as part of the Centre for Global Eco-Innovation, Inventia can support businesses around the commercialisation of eco-innovation. We can uh, help in exporting into new territories, new markets, 
looking at uh, which fundings are available to access these markets. We will look at what uh, businesses need in terms of research and development and we'll create some new projects that can be conducted by some master students to help them in accessing new opportunities around eco-innovation. And as part of uh, our network, we work with 27 partners across um, all sorts of countries from Europe to Asia to the United States, which enables us to give access to uh, unique opportunities and unique support to businesses. Stockford is one of the UK's leading energy from waste consultancies. So we really do pride ourselves in trying to provide our clients with tailored technologies and approaches for um, recovering energy from waste. And whilst there are a number of off-the-shelf technologies available, Stockford is really interested in how these technologies can be optimised for specific industrial waste streams. Basically, anaerobic digestion is, uh, is a biochemical breakdown of uh, organic substrates uh, with the aid of bacteria in the absence of oxygen uh, to produce uh, biogas. This project uh, will use both microbiology and a biochemical engineering approach to manipulate the biochemical process and improving the anaerobic digesting process. Our ambition is to take the, the data and know-how which we generate from this project to develop a, a waste treatment solution specifically for the Chinese market. Again, this will be focused on anaerobic digestion technology. So after three years, we'll be in a good position to go to the market, identify the waste streams of interest, hopefully develop contracts with these to develop um, energy from waste solutions uh, with our potential clients and know that we'll have a, a market leading product to offer. One of the criticisms that's often levelled at universities is that we're very slow at developing our intellectual property. In my own case, we have an example where the, the system moved through from patent to a product within just three years. So whilst it's certainly true that this process can be slow, there are examples where it can happen really very quickly as well. And as academic director of the centre, one of the real exciting prospects is to see how these projects will move very quickly from research through patent through to actual products. By 2015, the centre will have worked with 285 ambitious Northwest businesses on a series of longer term and short term collaborative projects, all based around eco innovation. Our work will deliver savings in terms of greenhouse gases, uh, water, waste and material use as part of a commitment to deliver environmental as well as commercial benefits. Also by the end of the programme we intend to have built bridges between the research institutes and northwest businesses.